Earlier this week, California State Superintendent Tony Thurman released a 50-page handbook on safely reopening schools. But he emphasized that it'll be up to individual districts to decide when and how students are allowed back on campuses. School reopening is a matter that is decided locally. With 1,000 school districts in our state, all of our schools makes their own decision about when they might open according to their own calendar. Officials in San Diego County districts say they're still in the early stages of developing plans for the new school year but some details are emerging. Under the state guidance, students will have their temperatures checked regularly. Students will need to be separated by six feet in the classroom. Students and teachers will be required to wear face coverings. In Chula Vista's elementary schools, teachers will wear face shields instead of masks. Especially in elementary school age, kids need to see the, the teacher. Francisco Escobedo is the superintendent of the Chula Vista Elementary School District. The district was supposed to start its school year on July 20th, but it pushed back its start date to August 31st to meet health guidelines for safe reopening. So think about hand sanitizer, making sure it's filled up every day, um, and making sure we have enough stations dispersed throughout the school so it's readily available. The state's guidance offers several possible scenarios. Schools could divide its student body in half and have them come to the campus on alternating weeks. Some schools might do half days. Escobedo says the district surveyed parents and about 80% wanted their students to return to campuses to some degree. But distance learning will be an option for students who might be living with at-risk family members. So everyone has a different rationale and uh, specific reasons why they want to stay or, or go to school. So we definitely want to meet the needs of our individual families. But returning students to school is a top priority for San Diego Unified School District, which is the second largest district in the state. We desperately want to bring our students back onto our campus in the campuses in the fall. Richard Brewer is the vice president of San Diego Unified School Board. We don't want to do staggered schedules. We don't want to do half days. Um, our students need to be in school all day. Our parents need our students to be in school all day. But to do that, Barrera says districts will need more federal and state funding than has already been promised. Otherwise, it'll be back to distance learning. Joe Hong, KPBS News.